on this week we have Bo Bud Green in the studio, y'all. Thanks for hanging out, fellas, and uh, thanks for laying down the jammy jam tonight. Um, let's let's go ahead. You guys want to have assumed names or real names? Let's at least give the crowd uh, at home a name. Let's start with you. Uh, oh. <laughs> I like to put you on a spot. <laughs> Just check. I'm uh, Tim. I'm Sean. Uh, Mark. Uh, but. Well, no, I shouldn't say my nickname. Anderson. Awesome. And uh, collectively, Bo Bud Green, you guys. And I think you played some uh, new music for us, although you might have been around town for a little while, a couple of weeks or three or four, five, ten years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 24 years. <laughs> That's the, uh, awesome. The nice uh, blogs in town, um, Austin Town Hall, they were nice enough to write about us recently, and they, they mentioned, um, I guess it was a younger writer, because he, he was like, yeah, this is cool, this new band doing this kind of 90s sounding stuff, <laughs> like, you know, it's like, well, we actually were around. Then. He said we were up and coming. Oh, okay. <laughs> up and comers. Up and comers. So, That's yeah, us. so, and we are up and comers. We are up and comers. Just, right. we're just, you know, older than some yeah. of us. The younger up and comers. Exactly. <laughs> It's good to be a comer. Yeah. <laughs> and up. And a go. Thank you. I'm here all night, people. Um, so I do remember back in the day, a band called Bo Bud Green and uh, laid down many rock and roll shows. And uh, much like many friends, bam, and no more rock and roll. Well. But all of a sudden, there was this reunion show and some cool bands that went bam years ago were playing. Tell me a little bit about all that. Uh, well, KNAC had a 20 year reunion show. And uh, so I guess it was fitting that we got to play it since we were definitely in the KNAC day with Ray and stuff. And Ray we're on there, Ray Sagern, and we were on there. Yeah, we were on there. Uh, Ray Dog. I mean, Ray Dog. You know, well, right, people hear sorry. Ray Sagern, they all know. Yeah. Ray, Ray Dog. You know Ray Dog. So Ray Dog uh, was kind enough to put us on a compilation a long time ago in the 90s, a KNAC compilation. So when they did this 20-year reunion show, uh, we they asked us to play it. Ray asked us to play it along with 16 Deluxe and Sincola and all the bands from the day, Fast like you Ball. said. Yeah. Fast they did, uh, actually, Tony and David did uh, acoustic oh, right. fastball stuff. That yep. was kind of cool because you know, cool. I've never seen those two play together. Right, right, right. So. Yeah, as Seed played. And and like two of them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know Kyle Schneider wasn't there because he was, was off with Ray Wiley, I think, playing with oh, Ray wow. Wiley. Chad and Gabriel came in. Yep. Okay. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. And, and Gabrielle played with us for a while, That's too. Nice. Yeah, after kind of Seed and or kind of during the same time, yeah. right? He played bass with us for a little bit when Mark wasn't playing with us. But so at that point, anyway, we played this 20 year reunion show. And this is like the original guys uh, from Boa Green, pretty much from 91 through 97 ish that really put in like about 250 days a year for many years touring and stuff. And so we were just like, hey, if we're going to ever do this again, we should have new music. And so we hadn't had any music in probably 10 years as a band mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. And so we uh, wrote a bunch of new songs and we have a, a seven inch uh, that's going to be uh, out there soon. Yeah. yeah. I think the hardest part of it's done on your end, at least, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's for it. Chepo, Chepo Pena, the great Chepo Pena is, is uh, all hell Chepo. Chepo is working on the artwork right now. So. Um, What's it look like? Did you see it? <laughs> uh, I didn't. See, something came up Saturday. I didn't see it Saturday. But long story longer, it's really good. Right. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's it's Chepo, so it's going to be amazing. Yeah. He puts so much passion into his yeah. stuff, and uh, he has yet to receive near the recognition uh, for his artwork. He's a great musician. You saw the list of bands he's wow, played it's in. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what? It's ridiculous. It's awesome, man. He is so cool. So um, new music, new shows, uh, Bo Bud Green online, bobudgreen.com. And um, as far as anything in the near future, are there shows we can look forward to anywhere? Seven Inch coming out, maybe putting them on around that maybe? Yeah, uh, we, we definitely have some shows coming up. Uh, just look for us in Austin for sure, but we're playing in Dallas next month or in October. We're doing an in-store at uh, Good Records, and then we're also playing up there at the Curtain Club, the lounge up there with uh, actually 
uh, band from Austin, some friends of ours, uh, some friends of mine mainly. I'm sorry, they don't know these. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really like them. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> just joking. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Official. But they're called summer salt, uh, like summer salt, uh, like summer go. and salt. Mm. Tour yeah. Salt. They're back together. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that would be all. Aw- hey, and Veruca Salt's playing with us too. That would be great. <laughs> awesome. Um, so things have changed. It sounds like you uh, plan to do more than Austin shows as uh, kind of, you know, you played touring before and you still want to get out and do at least regional and more. Life has changed, responsibilities, jobs. Uh, how are you looking at hitting the road, freeing up time? Any different than back in the day? Uh, I, I think it's different in that, um, you know, back in the day we would have, you know, played – anywhere at any time at any you know any second whether it's to you know like a dude and his dog or or to like you know uh, a bunch of people but um you know now i i think i think it's safe to say that you know we're playing just like when it seems right and we're not like playing too much and we're not playing like late on monday night or well, actually, we are playing late on Monday night. <laughs> Wait a minute, what happened here? Let's go. I'm out. No, uh, I'm gonna get up. Television. No, get we're do, you know uh, shows, uh, you know, so just like stuff that makes sense and is is fun. So you know, from backyard our you know house party to uh, you know to a club with friends bands. Um, played at ABGB recently. Yeah trying to um we're like going back and forth with red seven trying to put something together there um but like you said with these uh new responsibilities um uh you know everybody's like in one person's in san francisco one weekend another person's Mm -hmm. over here this weekend and so um you know it's a little tougher but um you know as long i think you know as long as it's fun that's like you know it's like that makes it easy to to make time to do it Awesome. So. And it's great that uh, it's great that you guys came together again after all these years, and it is fun, you know. So that's a blessing for any band or any group of people. So I'm I'm, I'm happy, and thank you for doing the show here tonight. Oh, yeah. um, yeah, for oh man, it's a pleasure. I'm glad to be able to put I mean, rock and roll on TV again, you know. Right. So yeah, we're glad you're doing that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. So um, how about, uh, let's see, I want because we have a little time. I'll okay. let you, you play it. Uh, let's do a, a silly rock and roll question. Um, favorite album? Anyone? Moving Pictures by Rush, of course. Rush. Moving <laughs> Pictures, <laughs> man. All right. Awesome. Uh, don't I, take mine. I'm not going to. Don't I'm take not, mine. I'm not going to take his. I, <laughs> I'll, I'll cut him some slack, and I'll say tonight is, tonight's is uh, uh, Nowhere by Ride. That's a good one. Man, that that so, was actually that was really that good. Was, yeah. I like uh, my Bloody Valentine's Loveless album. Awesome. I think it's my favorite. Yeah. Oh, mine's gonna be old school, probably like the Cure, Head on the Door or something. Oh, that's good. That's right. <laughs> Just for the kicks, I'm going to go with Too Fast for Love, Motley Crue's yeah. first one. <laughs> Throw a little left turn Clyde into there. So, Well, great, man. I appreciate uh, you doing this Monday night gig, and uh, mm-hmm. I will keep my eyes out for more Bo Bud Green so we can go out and catch you in person in a club where it smells like rock yes. <laughs> instead of air conditioner. Although the air condition does Bad. feel pretty good. <laughs> this place feels great. Oh, yeah. It's really good. Isn't Matt, I, you know, since we're here and all and everything, I got to say, um, I think we all been um, watching your shows over the years. And, and uh, I, man, I, I just got to tell you, it's kind of surreal to tell you on the show. But, <laughs> but, uh, but you know, that makes it all the much better that, um, you know, just – longtime fan and talk about people doing like amazing stuff that might not um get always as appreciated as as much as it should um man um you know your your uh dedication to getting people to hear good music and um new fresh school stuff is is uh is kind of i think maybe unparalleled so so um so thank you Absolutely. for having us. I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. I've been humbled recently to find out that there's still enough people that care about it to make it happen again. Yeah. I mean, I blew this place off in 07 with a passion. 
<laughs> and I wouldn't enter these doors forever. And Robert Smith, out of the kindness of his heart, asked me over and over and over to do this show. And my work schedule doesn't permit late night too much. And that was the main reason I never came and did it. And I realized, wow, man, this dude is like, come help me make TV. And uh, I'm blowing it off. That kind of is not a good idea, you know? So I came in, and I'll never forget the first time I came back in the studio after 07. It's been maybe six months now. I'm bad with time, but it hadn't been long. And I walked in the front door, and it was like my heart started beating real fast and everything kind of tunnel visioned. And I had to sit down. I couldn't even make it past the lobby. I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> this is a lot of bad stuff went down yeah, like right. the end you know it wasn't very comfortable doing TV and uh, so I really sat there for like 15 minutes and then uh, I got up and I looked at the control room and I walked down the hall and I looked at everything and it all had changed uh, this room wasn't that room anymore and I was like okay I gotta get over it and then I came in here and he set up and I was like oh crap and I was very nervous and um, you know, did everything here, and then the camera was on and or ready to be on, and we were getting the countdown. I was like, oh, shit. It was like five, four, and it was like, bam. The camera went on. I was like, hey. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hell. <laughs> you know? And so after doing this show so much, it's like, you know. You done, do you think? I think Robert's probably a better judge of that, but I swear we've been here six months, maybe? My boys, yeah, six, seven but months. How many shows did you do before? Oh, that? man, I was live every Saturday night from uh, 1990 to 2007. So whatever that was every Saturday night, 52 a year times 17. So <laughs> give or take, you know. And that doesn't even count, like, the oh, live no karaoke time. shows we did. <laughs> it's crazy stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, But, yeah, man, it was exciting, and it was like, hey, pull me back in. Come on. Yeah. And so I'm taking courses and classes and trying to get my own spot back on, on access. And uh, the, the, lo the quicker version of the story is uh, it takes cash to do the courses here because they have to pay for the resources and things like that that um, they can't cover with the the money that the city funds them for mm -hmm. and my kids suggested I do a crowdfunding thing so I did Indiegogo yeah. and uh, I, I was like I don't know why I didn't do that I don't know <laughs> and you know the money that I needed uh, was to, to just initially get every course paid for and get a series slot um, came in under 24 hours so I was humbled that that would happen and taking these classes, I found out there's multiple fees that can be paid on top, such as hard drives that need to be supplied to bring in video clips. Right. There are no more tapes anymore. So uh, they've been still rolling in, and there's probably another three weeks left on the Indiegogo thing that uh, I'm very excited about doing the show right. And yeah. uh, so we'll ask you guys to come play for sure. Oh, so right. we'll have you back in and do some write a new one between now and then oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah we will that's, <laughs> that's a, i'm daring you we can do that no problem that's done yeah awesome done. um well thanks to uh, my kids on camera ryan and will over here and uh burton's back here making stuff happen bringing us the table he's our uh, security tonight i do believe mm -hmm. and uh somebody's fine lady here watching that's right that's your wife very good thanks for being our studio audience and uh john for twisting the knobs and robert smith for being our tunnel of love so so we, uh, we, we are happy to be here tonight, and thanks again to Bo Bud Green. If you uh, have just tuned in to Up Late Austin for the very first time, it's uh, every Monday night from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Channel 16 or at channelaustin.org. Tell a friend, they'll tell two friends. You know how that whole thing goes, and your screen is splitting into multiple images right now. Um, but Robert has some more videos. I think he's going to play something from the Surleys in this set who played in here and uh, several things from previous weeks. I think we've got some payment due. God bless John. Johnny Leal, and uh, man, you guys rock. Thanks for tuning in, and you guys rock. Thanks for playing. Till next time, happy uh, holiday next week, and hopefully we'll be seeing a rerun. And uh, if you want to see someone on the show or you want to be on the show, hit us up on Facebook. See you next time.